In this video, I am going to explore the Zoom virtual backgrounds in detail. Let's get started. The virtual background feature allows you to replace your background with an image or a video. To set your virtual background, you can click on this arrow next to the video icon and choose virtual background. Zoom comes with several images and videos that you can use for your virtual background. For example, you can even use videos as your background like this. To add your own image, we can click on the plus sign and either add an image or a video. I have several images that I have already loaded and if I want to choose one of these images as my virtual background, all I need to do is click on it. If I want to remove the virtual background, I go back and click None. What I have just demonstrated is a best case scenario. You don't have to worry what's in your background. The algorithm that is provided by Zoom will automatically replace your background with an image or a video. However, for this feature to work, you need a very powerful computer. The Zoom Help Center lists the system requirements needed for virtual background to work on your device. As we can see, we have different requirements for having virtual backgrounds with images or videos and with a green screen or without a green screen. If your system does not meet the minimum requirements, you might not be able to make full use of the virtual backgrounds. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that the virtual backgrounds are enabled in your Zoom account and you do that by coming to your account, clicking on the settings and then click in meeting advanced settings. This will take you to the advanced settings where the feature to enable virtual background is available. In my case, I have already enabled it. Also, if you want to have videos as your virtual background, you need to click and enable this feature. If you don't have a very powerful computer, the second option that is available in the virtual background is to use something called a green screen. Green screen is a movie making technique where the actor enacts a scene in front of a green screen. The green screen is then replaced with either a computer generated imagery, a photo or even another video. To understand how green screen works, I will now switch over to my second computer which is not as powerful as this. On this computer, if I try to use a virtual background without any green screen, the result will look like this. The computer does not have enough processing power to replace the background. The only solution in this case is to have a green screen. To solve the problem, I have placed a green cloth behind the chair, making sure that it is evenly lighted. Now, if you try to apply a virtual background, you will see that the computer is able to replace the green screen with the virtual background. And you can replace any background seamlessly. You can even replace the background with a video. One important consideration when using a green screen is to make sure that you are not wearing any green clothing or have any items that are green in color. If you have any clothing that is green in color, then this is what will happen. What if you don't have a green screen? You can use other colors or even sit with your back to a plain wall. Only thing is you must make sure that the background color does not match with anything that you are wearing. For example, if your background is black, 
then your hair will disappear and look transparent in the virtual background. Similarly, if your background is white, then your teeth will look extra shiny. So these are the things you need to consider when you're using the virtual background. The last thing I would like to focus on is mobile devices. Many of us log in to online meetings using our phones. The question is, can we use virtual backgrounds on mobile devices? Zoom supports virtual backgrounds for iOS devices starting from iPhone 8 and above. In this case, I have logged into the meeting using iPhone 10 and the virtual background works pretty well. You don't even need to use green screen. It works just like the first example where I was replacing the virtual background using my powerful computer. So if you have an iOS device that supports virtual background, you should definitely use it. Virtual backgrounds are not supported on Android phones as yet. So there you have it. Different ways of using virtual backgrounds. If you have a very powerful PC, you can have a virtual background without any green screens. If you have a decent computer, you can use virtual background as long as you use a green screen or a background that is different from what you are wearing. And finally, on iOS devices, if you have iPhone 8 and above, you can use virtual backgrounds. Try them out and have fun playing with the virtual backgrounds.